Mistress Mel is away. Again. I'm almost certain she's in that hovel in the alienage. Lead the way. You know, you play Diamondback better than my cousin Vidar. You wag your tail whenever you have a good hand, though. I want to watch that. Is it brilliant or horrible that you play Diamondback with my dog? All I'm saying is he'd be up more than two sovereigns if he watched his tells. My Uncle Emmett has a whole pack of rat terriers who play every week. They're a cutthroat bunch. You've got a long way to go to be their quality. Now don't take it bad. You're still better than Anders. Coming to the hangman later? Think you can do something with this sandal? Is that lyrium? I've never seen anything like that. It's dangerous. Varric suggested Sandal might be able to dispose of it. I think my boy can do better than that. Ooh, enchantment. Let me guess. That's your final answer? Three mages have fled to Ferelden, and you have intervened to protect them, as if it is your right to do so. What other answer did you expect, your majesty? A maybe might have been nice. I do not deal in maybes. I deal in cold, hard facts, as should you. Perhaps when Ferelden next chooses a king, it will be one that takes his duty to the Maker seriously. Well, that was awkward. That's just Meredith's idea of Kirkwall hospitality. Really? Kirkwall brutality? You must rip the skin off your face, then. This is the champion of Kirkwall. Right, I'm Alistair. Oh, uh, King of Ferelden. And this is Tegan, my uncle. Sort of. I'm actually Tegan. I'm only sort of his uncle. Your Majesty, may I say what an honor it is to meet you? Well, you could, but you'd be the first today. I fought at Ostagar. What happened there was a great tragedy. Ah, yes. Yes, it was. Thankfully, the man responsible has paid for that. Say, weren't you a Grey Warden once? That's the rumor. Wait. Weren't you? That's the rumor. Huh. I guess we get around. I was hoping we could talk. Would have been better timing before being emasculated by Meredith, but I'm not picky. Things are looking up. It's not often I get called on to meet with foreign leaders. 
I know you came here from Lothering, a Ferelden refugee that did well for himself, against all odds. I have to admit, I was hoping your influence in Kirkwall might be of use. Things haven't been going well with Orlay. Without a Viscount here, however, there's only the Knight Commander to deal with. You were having an argument about mages. Yes, well, apparently I don't feel the same way about mages as the Chantry does. So, we're in disagreement. That means they get nasty. They're like that. Sounds like the Circle is better off in Ferelden. You'd think so, wouldn't you? Sadly, I don't control the Circle. I can only deal with mages outside the Circle. Of which there aren't many. Aren't they in your kingdom? Why not just kick the Templars out? Ha! Ah, easier said than done. Doesn't mean you shouldn't try. We'll see what comes of it. Ferelden had a blight to contend with, remember? We're not exactly at our strongest. A lot of your people fled to Kirkwall, you know. I know. I wish I could have helped them. Their blight devastated the kingdom, and afterwards, well, it hasn't exactly been peaceful. They're welcome back, of course, as are you. But after so many years away, would you still consider it home? Ferelden will always be my home. I hope we see you back there someday. We could use someone like you, champion. Is there to be a war, then? I hope not. You're more optimistic than I am. Empress Selene is doing her best. Orlais isn't the most stable place right now. What's happening in Orlais? Oh, the usual. Attempted assassinations, uprising, fancy parties with stinky cheeses. Apparently, some Orlesians think it would be grand to get their lost province back. Well, we won't let them swoop down on us, will we? That's right. Swooping is bad. What do you need me to do? Sadly, it may be too late. Meredith got wind of my arrival sooner than I'd hoped. What you can do is protect Kirkwall. It will take someone like you to keep it from falling apart. Just me standing between the city and disaster, huh? I've been there. Trust me, it isn't pretty. Well, I suppose we should be getting back. We should. The hero of Ferelden should be back in Denerim by now. You're always so formal. He has a name, you know. to the barracks. I never tire of it. You have no Viscount. It's clear you're suffering without sufficient leadership. That doesn't grant default authority to you or your commander. It would be easier if you cooperated. Wouldn't it? Guard, Captain. Trouble? Yes. He's been hounding me. These Templars strut around as it is, but now it's just... out of hand. He could be fishing for a less strenuous position here in the barracks. Well, he won't be getting one from me. That's not what Callan has heard. What are you talking about? That you coddle your men. It's all lies, of course. But it's out there. No wonder the lieutenant was harassing me. Bastards. If they think I'm coddling anyone, it'll be my husband, Donnick. You and I will intercept his patrol tonight. Then you can see for yourself if I'm coddling him, or any in my command. 
Well, I could do with a breath of fresh air. Good. Because there's no way I would let this go. Cullum wants to know if these things are true. You'll be able to tell him. Donix patrol, Hawk. Me and you, tonight. Accuse me of being soft. Not in this lifetime. So, let's see what you require of your guards. Is champion now. You're too much of a chameleon, my friend. I didn't expect to find you so deep in bandits. A good day, to be sure. I'll be sore tomorrow, but it was my choice. Tell me what's going on. It's all right. Go ahead. Every guard chooses the patrol they want. My wife promotes from the bold, not the reckless. Action is up. Casualties are down. It is... remarkable. As are you, love. Thank you. That will do. Another time, Sir Arhawk. Safe travels. That should be sufficient. Take that to the Templar. Indeed. Let's go talk to Cullen.
champion. And you are with the captain. None too happy about the accusations against her, I'm sure. You could say that. I have successfully wasted my time, and there is no merit to the claims. As I suspected. Then why press this? Some feel that the solution to the current crisis of leadership is to consolidate authority. As long as these complaints continue, baseless or not, they will serve as justification for eliminating the position of Guard Captain. It would be the simplest fix, whether or not I agree. Just point me in the right direction and I'll get you some peace and quiet. I have no answers for you other than to say that all of the complaints have come from Lowtown. Guardsman Brennan is on that patrol. Why wouldn't she tell me of this? I don't know, but I do apologize for the assumptions of this incident, Guard Captain. It has been unfortunate. It's not done. To Lowtown, Hawk. I need to speak to Brennan. Guardsman, why did a Templar have to tell me there is unrest in this district? What's going on? Better make it good. It's Captain Jevon. I didn't report his return because I'm ashamed for him. He's trying to rile the guards against you, but none of us will follow him. You lead better than he ever did. We've made so many enemies. I don't remember him as that impressive. He deserves to be forgotten. He abused his position, and blamed me when we caught him. He was well liked by some, but not once the truth was known. Well, let's go have a chat with the man. The guards will have nothing to do with him. So he found others. Militia. Mostly anti Ferelden. The same kind who were against the Canari. I guess it's been long enough they've forgotten how many the Champion killed. A rally... against... The tyranny of the Guard and foreigners who infest Kirkwall. I'm sorry, Captain. Return to the barracks. The rally is in Darktown, Hawk. I need to be here. 